Is mixing Tannerite dangerous? Um, what they tell you to do is mix two parts, mix it up by hand. I'll put a video to their instruction right here. Um, and then you pretty much shoot it with a high velocity rifle like an AR. I was showing this um, to a uh, mechanical engineer who had worked on rocket propellants and where he would mix many, many explosives, very similar to Tannerite uh, for rockets. And he was, when he saw them mixing it by hand, those dry explosives, he's like, I wouldn't do that. Um, he thought it would be dangerous or something like that. Well, I have never heard of anybody blowing their hand off in the news from Tannerite or a binary target, uh, but I wanted to see how dangerous it really is. So today, that's what we're gonna find out. So I have just a little bit of Tannerite here in this container, um, obviously not mixed up yet. And then I actually have a little mixer that's gonna mix it and rub it against those walls uh, and see if this blows up. I'll let that run for five minutes. We're also gonna put it on um, some steel and see if we can just get it to go off on its own. I don't think we'll be able to smash it because there's actually another video, I'll put a link to that in the description, where a guy actually smashed with a hydraulic press and he couldn't get it to go off. So my guess, um, my hypothesis is that it's actually super stable and mixing it by hand is fine, um, but today we're gonna go ahead and test that. Okay, so this tannerite has been mixed. Um, so I'm just gonna put a little bit on here and show you that uh, it's pretty stable. So first of all, one of these kernels has about the power of like a, uh, a primer going off, which I've smashed many primers and they're not too bad. So there we are, smashing them, grinding them together. Harder wax. more of this in the middle there. We're gonna actually hit it good. Okay, as you can see, no kabloomy. Okay, so it was pretty stable when we were whacking it, but what about if we mix it, um, especially where paddles are rubbing up against the side for an extended period of time, what would happen then? So this is a state-of-art, uh, state-of-the-art tannerite mixer, if you couldn't tell. I'm gonna put that in there. Okay, and then we're going to put it on a hill and just let it mix for, I don't know, 10 minutes, see if it goes off. Okay, so we got that mixer clear up here, quite a ways away. Um, she's already on, so we're just going to go clear back and uh, turn on the generator and let her mix until she blows, I guess. Or we might have to help it. I can't really show you because I don't have a camera up there that's sacrificial. I'm not rich enough to do that. Um, but it is scraping against the side. I see all those kernels just kind of popping around. Um, I would say as far as dry mixing, it is literally the worst case scenario um, up there for sure. I'm going to shut this off. Okay, and I'm going to show you what this looks like. It's going to be way mixed. Okay, I mean, you can see in there. That is all mixed. It's been bouncing up around. When I was looking, they were snapping and popping and moving, and man, nothing happened. So now this stuff's actually illegal to transport in the mixed state, so we're just gonna have to blow it up. So this is what's left of everything, of that little mixer. Uh, as you can see, she gone. Um, some of the ammonium nitrate didn't get all um, used up, so it'll grow back really nicely here, all this green. Now I'm gonna spend 30 minutes finding all the trash pieces. Okay, so I mixed some up already like that I showed you, and I can't take that home. So what I've done is I put it right there inside of that watermelon. Okay, this is what's left of that watermelon. 
Okay guys, so as you saw, it mixed for like 15 minutes and it did not explode on its own, even with the rubbing and the, and I was smashing with the hammer and everything, I could not get it to go off on its own. So for the most part, I generally think it's still safe to mix by hand. I went back and told that mechanical engineer that I referenced before what happened and he said he still wouldn't trust it. Um, but I mean, where's his proof? Anyway, guys, if you have any other comments or questions or any experience with Tannerite, please put that in the comments below. And also, as always, thanks for watching.